Hello YouTube, this is Gray Vendor, and I'm coming at you with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Now, as you can see, I've got up on the screen here a little message that we got earlier in the day. I haven't seen anyone else touch on this yet on YouTube, and this is something that I really want to want to discuss and talk about. We have some arena changes coming this week. Greeting Summoner. A change is coming to arenas beginning this week in order to reduce the amount of time needed to invest in arenas. We're adjusting point, adjusting the points and stamina recharge the champions. Stamina recharge time will be increased to three hours for one star champions, four hours for two star champions, five hours for three star champions, and six hours for four star champions. Now something that they're not going into detail on this one as well because there's not as many of them running around. But there's also a seven hour recharge timer for the five star champions. Points and milestones will be adjusted so that the milestones should be achievable in a few fights over the course of an arena. In order to enact this change, the start of the guillotine arenas will be delayed so that a server adjustment can be made prior to the start. Now that doesn't look like a lot at first. That just I mean basically that just tells us that we're going to have longer recharge times which doesn't help anyone who doesn't spend on this game. Now we'll go out and into chrome and we'll look at the stamina changes. Obviously, we see one star goes from two hours to three hours. But basically, they're all going from two hours up. We had a two-hour a two hour recharge time. And it starts to go up from one star. So, two to three, two to four, two to five, two to six, and then seven hours. This change will help to include a more natural break in the game for those that felt they didn't had the need to play perpetually. Well, what are you doing now? I mean, you're, you're taking away the opportunity that the people who don't pay for this game to get recharges are going to have to get any kind of placement in the arenas. You're making the time longer for those that don't spend on the game. That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, you're doubling the time, or you're, you're doubling the points per fight, basically, is what I'm seeing here. It's, it's doubling a lot of the points gained, but if you're not getting to play every two hours, and you're having to wait four on a two-star, doesn't it make sense that those points should be doubled anyway? Right? I mean, am I right here? Uh, it, it's You're only getting to play one match every four hours instead of two matches every four, like you normally were. So, technically, it looks like you're actually losing. You're actually losing points by only playing one match every four hours. For the two stars. And the three stars. They don't have any totals on here for four stars. And now the milestones. Old milestones. And new milestones. Three star arena doubled. They've doubled. So if you if you were having trouble hitting the milestones in the original arena, being able to play every two hours, good luck getting that every four with two stars. If you were having troubles in the four star arena hitting the milestones, guess what guys, those have doubled too. Those have all doubled too. Actually it's more than double. The old 50,000, the new 125, that's more than double. 200,000, 500,000, that's more than double. 400,000 to a million, more than doubled. 600,000 to 100 to 1.5 million more than doubled. 1 million to 
to 2.5, more than double. 1.5 to 4 million. That's more than double. The only, the only good thing that they have done out of this is awarding 50 battle chips and 150 gold per fight that you win. That's the only thing. That is the only good thing. Now, here's some, here's some uh, comments. Holy crap, you, you are raising the milestones so much. These numbers may be concerning upon first viewing, but keep in mind that the points you are earning have also gone up. No, they have not. Look, look at the averages here. Old, rank one, three-star champion, 910. Rank one, new, 2,600. Now, that one actually looks like it has gone up a little bit. Not a lot, but that you can't say that for all of them. You can't say that for all of them. I mean, new rank, two-star champion, average fight. Old, 410, new, 830. Okay, so that's it's gone up by like 10 freaking points. 10 points. There's not that big of a difference in the points averaged on this to make that big of a difference. Not with the influx of time being shifted so much. Most people don't even use their one stars in arenas. I don't even I don't even understand that. Maybe this wouldn't have been as awful sounding if they would have just started the new timers at three hours starting at the two star. It's still crap. It's still crap. Like I know I'm not gonna I need you guys because I don't have that big as big of a fan base as some of these other YouTubers that do this. This is absolute bullcrap. And they changed the stamina refill costs. They have gone, four stars have gone from five units to recharge up to 15. So if you want to try and take advantage of the fact that the, the timer has gone <coughs> that the timer has gone up and do better for yourself by, you know, doing son of a monkey balls. Go away, people. I can't deal with anything else right now. This is complete and utter bull crap. If you wanted to try and get a leg up on anyone else, your cost per champion to recharge has more than doubled. It's tripled. It is absolutely tripled if you're wanting to use a four star. It's doubled if you're wanting to take a three star in. But you know who's not going to care about this? Who this doesn't hurt? The people who have endless amounts of money to drop into this game. And I'm not going to be one of those people. I am not. There is a thing going around on a few sites right now called No Pay November. And I am fully supporting that. We'll be opening crystals. We'll still do crystal opening videos. We're not paying for them though. Not in November. Not in November will I spend it. Actually from this point forward and I apologize guys I know we've got guillotine coming out within the next couple of days. I'm not paying. I'm not paying for any more crystals. As far as I'm concerned, Kabam's janitor that I employ can go on the unemployment line for the next couple of months until they fix this crap. Everything that they have done since adding new crap to the game has done nothing but favor the people who are, have all of the time in the world to play this game and have all of the money to drop into it. I understand this is a free-to-play game. They've got to try and make their money where they can. 
but this is absolute bullcrap. There are kids, and I'm sure there's a lot of kids out there who watch this. There are kids out there at Kabam who play this game, who don't have the money to sink into it, and want to try and do well for themselves in the game. This is what they have. This is video games is what they have to play. And you are absolutely taking that and destroying it so that you can make money. You have already made more than enough money off of this game than you have ever put into it. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that. Anybody who is watching this, like I said, share the crap out of this video. Share it. And do not spend a dime. I'm telling you right now, do not spend a dime on this game in November. Let's see if we can actually make a change. Let's see if we can do anything. Because there are more of us playing this game that don't spend tons of money than there are in the top 10, 25 alliances that do spend money. This really pisses me off. Really, really pisses me off. This isn't your typical video like I would normally do, but after seeing this and mulling on it for the pa the better part of the day, I've just got to say, I, this is absolute, absolute bullcrap. And I am completely on board with the no-pay, November movement and like I said, starting right now from this point until the end of November, if nothing changes, I'm not spending a dime on this game. It's not happening. Done. They have taken thousands and thousands of dollars from me. And what have I got to show for it? I've entertained you guys with it. And that means a lot more than anything else. But now, they're starting to screw you guys over too. And that pisses me off. Alright guys, remember, share the crap out of this. Share the ever-loving crap out of this video. Remember, like, share, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.